Ziggy, Project One representative. Listen, shining, shining. still grinding. Never slipping, always yeah. climbing The skinniest nigga on a block, no milli, no glock Life's a ridiculous plot, I'm done with a frivolous lot Trying to get my name around the world like Philly as fog Toast the Henny, I'm hot Man talk back, the semi don't pop It's lies and fake like Jenny on a block It's bait if the penny ain't dropped Me, I'm the cherry on top Wiley, I, I want to give you this platform right now yes. To just get everything off your chest Why are you mad, Wiley? Like, why are you mad right do you know now? Why I'm, do you know why I'm mad? Because I know what I'm doing, I always did. And a bunch of horrible paganistic people, that's their path to come and send me off of my path. And the sad thing is, look, I'm a very reasonable guy. I love music as much as everyone loves music. I love energy. I rate different people. I respect different people. But you know what? Enough of them are pagan. And it's, and it's, and it's sad because I didn't see them. Like, I didn't think they were like that. But then after, you work it out, bruv. And that's when enough of them are pagan, you get me? Who's a pagan? Cause Drake, a l- Drake, bruv, Drake is a pagan. Drake is a culture vulture. Ed Sheeran, you are a culture vulture. You know what you said, Ed, at the beginning? You need me, man. I don't need you. That's what you said. But, Ed, the other day, mate, you had to use grime to tip your song over the edge. They called you, Ed, the most influential urban artist of a decade or whatever they was, however long it was. When I read the thing, I said, you know what? It should have said the artist who sold the most. Because how can he be the most influential urban artist? Let's yeah, take yeah. this back a bit, Will, because obviously Ed Sheeran's yeah. relationship with Grime, it didn't start yesterday. You, you've worked with Ed. All right, can I say one thing? Let me, let me, let me shape this, because SBTV and everyone thinks they've got some footage of Ed on Rinse FM or something. Ed Sheeran was nothing to do with Grime. He was a guitarist who Scorcher met working with True Tiger, whoever, playing guitar when Getz and Scorcher are rapping. When they're rapping, thank you. Ed's not a grime MC. Stop, everyone stop doing this stupidness. Ed's music is his music. Obviously, people like him. So you could say the people who gravitated towards him, they liked him and his music. We probably, we, we liked his music. But you know what the problem came? We've got Ed. None of you can't work with him because he's so special and he's so this, you can't touch him. But he can come and just touch our thing, though. Don't think so. What went wrong between you and Ed between now because, and because when you Ed, worked with him? Because I, listen, when I was working with Ed, I was working for him to do it for him. When it was time to do it for me, he didn't want to do it. When it was time to do it for me, he didn't want to stand up to his label. He folded. So you shouted, you shouted him for it, a tune? Bruv, listen, we... Help that guy get into the picture. I had done something for him, that tune, you. It's on his album, isn't it? So when I went to do my one, I was getting told, you can't do this, Ed can't do the video, you can't use Ed, basically. One big privilege saga. And I said, you know what? I knew life wasn't fair, but I didn't know it was not this fair. So I just carried on my time. Everyone thinks I'm mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Ed Sheeran knows what I'm talking about. Are you mad at Ed Sheeran on behalf of the grime I'm, scene then or, or for your no, own issue with him? I'm mad at Ed Sheeran because he said, you need me, man, I don't need you. And just before he goes to retire, I'll go and start his family of his wife. Guess what he did? He used something that belongs to me. He used it saying you need me, man, and I, you don't need whatever he said means that you are not allowed to come back and bread Stormzy and get a South Spyro remix and use Grime. You're not. You're not allowed to use Grime. You know why? Because we're not allowed to use you or anything that you do. Have you noticed all the people talking about we're on a tune with Ed, we're number one? It wasn't even their version that went number one. They used the Spyro version to tip that one over. So they got used again. Ed's had so many number ones. No, he's care, he's huge. No, stop, 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 stop. You're going wrong. You've been brainwashed. You, have I? Yes, you have. How? You, you know why you've been brainwashed? Do you want to tell you what a number one is? Go on. A, a number one is the week where it could be quiet or loud. I know Ed is big business, so don't try and... Like, I'm not saying he's not big business. What I'm saying is Ed Sheeran going number one means nothing to him. The sales mean something to him. Because people can go number one on quiet weeks with low numbers. He knows he gets number ones, but that's not his thing. His thing is numbers, isn't it? Okay. So, it's not, so there's no point. This is what you lot do. You lot let people with numbers, you think that let them do what they want. They can't just do what they want. Oh, 
Drake, it's Drake. His numbers are massive. He could just do what he wants. But no. that's not my point. That's not my point, Wally. Yes, it is. No, it no, is. no, no, no. But listen, what... Wally, Wally let me hey, speak. No, let me speak, me. bro. Hey, let me just say this one thing. You just said it. You just said it. No, bro. but my, my point is, does does Ed need anything at right, this point? This? All right, all right. Uh, so, so then, what? Why did you do it then? Can't you he got... just want to do something? All right. So then, we're not. But so, listen to me. I just told you. So. When Ed wants to do something, it's okay. But when we want to do something with Ed, and when I say we, you know what I mean, we can't. But Ed can, because he's got numbers, yeah? You have been brainwashed, but you know what? I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I've got love for you, and you're my Don. But everyone needs to stop this saga of the person has sold so much, and everyone loves him, and he's got the X Factor, so he can do what he wants. No. I'm not, no. the thing is, Wiley, I'm not even, I'm just playing devil's, yes, I'm, did, yes, I'm playing did, devil's yes, advocate did. with you. Yes, I'm no, trying to, play, I'm no, trying wait, to make wait, wait. you see what right, some people were saying. Hold on, wait, don't play devil's advocate with me. Don't do that. You know he's got numbers, don't act dumb. Why would you say, don't, Ed's got, like, we know what he's got. I'm not mad, I don't hate Ed Sheeran. But he, he is not allowed to just do what he wants when it comes to the word grime, and I'm telling you that. So you're s- you're saying that you feel like his relationship with the scene what? is not mutual? Oh, it's fake as hell. Everyone just can't wait to get to the number one party to go and see how much he sold. Why, do, why, you, why do you take that personally, though? Why does that affect you? you? Know no, it doesn't affect me. This is not affecting me. This is just me explaining when people think, Riley, what's wrong with you? Yeah. This, is, this doesn't affect me. I'm a bad man. What's wrong with you? People don't know where the vibes come from. Listen, Ed Sheeran, you are a culture vulture and I'm not listening to you anymore. I've listened to you rip off Marvin Gaye. I've listened to you rip off everything. I see you do a tune the other day with Justin Bieber. It sounds like a ragga tune from Sting. No one has <laughs> saying nothing about that though. So I'm not listening. I'm finished with these people. I swear to God. So if Ed, sh- if Ed yes. Sheeran shouted you and said, let's build this bridge. Oh, Ed, go- Ed, listen to me, mate. It's 19 years later. You've just retired to go and do something. Look how I'm still here, Adot. And they're gone. How did Wiley outlast Ed Sheeran and Nicki Minaj, I wonder? Would you say you've outlasted him? Well, where is he? He's retired, he just said the other day. But he where said he's, he? he's taking a break. All right, Adot, watch this. If you go in the music industry and you sign a record deal, three albums, whatever, and you kill the game because you've got a guitar and a foot pedal and this is England and you kill the game, yeah? Yeah. And you earn all the money in the world. That's fine. You're worth 160 million. Now, if your point and everyone's point was right, correct, that Ed was there in grime, well... That none of that 160 million has gone anywhere near grime. So let's now uh, uh, prove my point again. What would your message be to people that are saying, oh, the Wiley, he's jealous, stay, he's bitter? I, I, no, I've got a new message. Artists, stay away from culture vultures, stay away from pagans, and stay away from people who wait until you're blown to come and stand next to you and collect money, but they wait until you was blown. So they weren't there in the hard times. They wasn't there in the time when man had to build up their name and fan base. They just turned up when everything was easy peasy squeezy. Stay away from them people. Your issue with Drake, is it the same as your issue with Ed? Drake is a pagan. You know, bro, listen to this. I tried to apologise to this brother, you know, because I felt bad. But you know what? I ain't taking back no apology. He is the worst. I swear to God. Wait, wait, wait. What were you apologising for? Because I went at him because... What happened? Because what was I said something. What did I say when he was on Tiffany Carver? What happened again? You can't even oh, remember. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this one, Ada. Oh, my blood. Listen, Ada. Not everyone is so blind. Watch this. This man comes to London, right? This brother comes on the O2. Yeah. Bear in mind, Ada. Listen to me. He would never have done this when he was at peak, peak, peak. I'm not saying he's dropped level. I'm not. I'm saying he would never. No one would have. Nikki, no one would do it at peak when their name is at peak, right? Watch. The other day, O2. Tiffany Carver. I don't know her. Calva, but I, carry on. Yeah, Calva. I respect her, though, because she was bringing people out. Yeah, she I did got, her thing. She did her thing. I've got nothing to say to her. So I'm not talking to her. My man is bringing out people like as if he is Jesus Christ the Savior. Watch this. Do you know the par? Watch this par that I can see that you cannot maybe see. Jay Huss come out of jail. Did he come out of jail? Jay Huss, yeah? Yeah, same day. Yeah, my man brought him out the stage, right? That looks good, don't it? That looks cool, innit? Like, yeah, it was major. Board. I was there. Yeah, all right, watch, watch. It looks good, innit? My man brought him out, innit? Looks nang. My man brought out Jay Huss, innit? 
That's it. Looks nice, isn't it? Tell yeah, it looks me. sick. It? Yeah, I thought, exactly. I thought it was amazing. Exactly. Exactly. It looked nang, innit? So but what's, what's wrong with that? But you just said it looked nang. You just agreed with me. Yeah, so yeah. Look, thank you. So that's why. So can't you see what people do out here? Hence why man them who are not from the hood, they come to places, try and get involved with man from the hood. You know what it is, Adot? The truth is he's just a pagan and he knows it. And if I say it, he can't say nothing to me. And that's the truth. Do you see no positive to what Drake does when no, he embraces no, the no, scene? No, no, because you know why? He's not embracing the scene. He's doing it for himself. But you lot can't see. So see? What, is, what is he gaining from, for example, bringing back oh Top Boy? Oh my God, what do you mean is what is he gaining? No, I'm genuinely asking you. What do oh you my, think he's gaining? You tell, all right, Adot, you tell me what he's gaining. No, what do you think he's gaining? Th this listen, isn't about me. Listen, I want to know what right, you well, think. All right, all right, hey, Dot, listen. If you're a good you and you grew up in the suburbs and all of a sudden you become a rapper, do you know what you do? You gravitate to where you never came from. That's why. So you think it's, it's, it's for perception for him? Oh, mate, come on. It's a true story. Even if he does something like, say, Top Boy oh, or bringing out Jay Huss at right, a show, do you right, not see I... that paying off for someone like uh, Dave, though? All right, so where's Jay Huss now? After he did that, where's Jay Huss now? He's, he's working on his album. But, okay, and you see when Jay Huss was in jail, you see if Jay Huss does go jail or something happens, where's Drake going to be? Nowhere. I'm not saying that he shouldn't bring out Jay Huss. I'm saying you lot, stop looking at it like he's helping us because he's not, he's helping himself. But is it not mutually beneficial at least? Doesn't Dave gain well, a lot from being in Top Boy? Well, I just asked you where's Jay Huss. But let's talk about Top Boy because it's like really relevant about, now. All right, let's talk about Top Boy. Hold on. I read a thing the other day, do you know what it said? Drake saved Top Boy. Really? Drake saved Top Boy, yeah? So Kano, D and you, man, needed Drake to save Top Boy. Okay, cool. But Channel 4 so, didn't because, recommission so, it. Yeah, but watch this. Top Boy was fine. I thought Top Boy was sick. I didn't need Drake to let me know that Top Boy was sick. Uh, listen, I respect the fact that he's backing them. You know, like for Asha D's sake, you know, yeah. someone who comes in with the money and backs it. Yes, you come in with the money and back it. I respect it from that side. But watch this. So we need Canadians and Americans to come and help us because we can't do it ourselves. Cool. But my genre has produced over 12, 13 millionaires. But we're all looking in the sky. So with, with Top Boy, yeah, with, with Drake... Yeah. Channel 4, they didn't commission a third series, right? Yeah. Then, Listen, I'm saying, if that's because I didn't know that Channel 4 didn't. But so do you not Channel so do you not see the positive in Drake shining uh, but, but a, a this, new spotlight on this, Top Boy? But watch this, but watch this. Wiley, Stormzy, Dizzy Rask. Do you know how many millionaires are in London? Do you think that we couldn't have done that? And that's what I'm saying. So why didn't why didn't you bring back Top Boy, Wiley? Exactly my point. Exactly. They didn't come to us. I didn't know what you just said about the commissioning. But this is my point. We need them, yeah, really? We really need them, bruv. Come on, bruv. What do you feel like you're doing? Because you, you, you're really passionate about the scene, and rightly so. You've what been there consistently. Like, what, what do you feel what, like you're doing that other people aren't doing? Well, mate, listen. I could have owned everyone in the whole scene, and I didn't. So that lets you know, mate, where my heart and head was at. Wiley, do you feel like you'll get to a point where you don't care about any of this anymore? And you're just, well, you're just I, enjoying no, your millions? Oi, oi, Adot, I don't care about it now. That's the point. I, so the way you hear me talking about it, it's not because I care, A-Dot. It's because it's so visually happening and everyone's just pretending to be blind. You know what people do? They make way for things or people that they really like. I did it. I did it. When Drake clashed Meek Mill, I did it. But Meek Mill raised a point. Am I lying? What was the point? All right, cool. The main point was, before Meek Mill did that, I would have told you that Drake wrote every single thing that came out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. That's the point that Meat Mill made. And I was defending Drake, so I hear you. We often make way for someone that we like, but after when you realise what it is... Listen, people don't like me. Some people don't like me for reasons that they're allowed to. You're allowed to not like me, you know? You don't have to like me. I accept that, you get me? So that's what this is, isn't it? I'm, I'm just realising that... Bro, you can realise that someone's a pagan, you know. What do you want people to take away from this? Because you, 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 you no, no, brought no, no, it up no, no, a no. few times. No, but I don't want them to... Listen, I don't want no one to copy me or bread me. No, but I feel I'm like just, you're trying to educate no. people on a matter. And I want to know, I, like, well, what yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I am educating, but basically, just keep your eyes open, mate, because everyone who smiles and talks to you or tries to bread is not always coming with good intention. And that's the that's, that's a nice way to put it, without me seeming like I'm ranting. Like, I'm not ranting. I am just can see the par. I'm allowed to see a par and say, hold on, that's a par. Yes, I am. Wiley, man. Look, some, sometimes I question your motivations and sometimes I don't agree with you, but I love you, you know that's that. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I love you too. And listen, I want it to be that way because guess what? If everyone agreed with everyone, it would be a silly place. Like, I don't want everyone to agree... Wiley, what are you doing with the rest of your day? I'm just going to just, uh, Ferrari. <laughs> what, to just pick up a new one? I'm going to buy, listen, I'm going Ferrari to teach these people, I don't need your money, your money's dead. I'll throw it in Tower Bridge. That's why I'm going to Ferrari. Wiley, man, I love you love, so much. Love, 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 enough respect, love. Oi, are you gone? <laughs> He's gone. He just hung up. <laughs> well, well, well. That one might just go down in history.